I recently made a vlog about how frustrated I was with the Apple iCloud service and how it was just using up all of my mobile broadband data to synchronize photos across three devices and then really not working that well because it was telling me that some devices were full when they clearly weren't and that I'd run out of my space when I clearly hadn't and I, and I was really really became well just so disappointed with the whole service um, and I said I'd, I'd been an Apple uh, customer uh, an Apple advocate since 1989 when I bought my first Mac um, but recently I, I you know it just it just got too much um, too much of a headache to you know I, I use this uh, this iPad to edit my vlogs or our vlogs um, and I use the application Luma Fusion to do that um, and it's really frustrating if if you can't get um, the footage from the camera onto the iPad because iCloud telling you it's full up because the the application photos which is on here uh, is connected to iCloud it just stops you editing and it stops you publishing videos unless you sort of go to another device use use something else or even revert to going to the iPhone to upload live videos or direct videos to YouTube um, which isn't where I wanted to be so I was really happy when I found out about these these drives here the Western Digital um, My Passport Wireless Pro. Uh, it's a little, it's a little tiny drive. It's a hard drive. Um, it's not the solid state. It's not the SSD version. So it has a, you know, the usual hard drive spinning discs in there. But the good thing is that it is a four terabyte drive. Um, and one of the one of the things in discussion with Apple, I was uh, further disappointed because I, you know on the Apple iCloud I've got 1.3, nearly 1.4 terabytes, so I've got like 600 gigabytes left before that service becomes full. And bear in mind that probably in the next year that that will fill up with all the data I'm producing and all the videos and photos that we take and store. And when I spoke to Apple, or the technicians at Apple, they said, well, there aren't many people in our customer base that need two terabytes. So uh, I said, well, what do I do, you know, when two terabytes is full? And they said, well, you'll have to delete some things frankly that's just not acceptable so I'm happy um, with the wireless drive so as usual with technology it doesn't always go as smoothly as you want it to so it is a wireless drive so it it produces its own Wi-Fi network and sure enough it can act like a Wi-Fi router so you can connect to it its Wi-Fi network and it can connect to another internet connected Wi-Fi network so you can sort of go through it to get out onto the internet um, that's just not happening because uh, I use my iPhone and the the, the uh, Western Digital um, Wireless Pro drive can't connect to the iPhone just it just doesn't see it it won't it won't connect I sort of I sort of understand why probably you know it's probably quirky technology um, that doesn't allow it to do it and 
you know the tethering on an iPhone probably wouldn't want it to happen anyway so um, the workflow that I use is now changing I'm in the middle of sort of rehashing what we do so what I've been doing is launching the drive up and bear in mind that I can take the card out of the camera plug it directly into this little uh, slot here that's an SD card reader and the drive then knows to import all the new footage and photos into a sort of media folder on the drive it's brilliant it really is brilliant so I thought this is this is going to be excellent and so I've launched up the uh, iPad with LumaFusion and uh, here's here's what LumaFusion looks like and I'll just show you on the on the screen there it takes a while to sort of get uploaded that's one of our videos in edit already so looking at the um, interface for LumaFusion you get your um, you get your media over on the left hand side and you you get your timeline down below and what you can do is you can choose different things the sources uh, for where you get your media from and the Western Digital my passport just appeared there and when I clicked on that it would just um, it would just refresh and nothing would show but now if I'm if I'm connected to the correct network yeah so it comes up with um, storage over there it also shows you the battery power just up in the top left hand corner so storage there you can click on that and you can go through SD card imports and these are these are some of the SD card imports that we've done takes you a long time to sort of dig down into uh, into these things and you can see here some of the uh, so it brings in all of the uh, all of the video and photos so if you click on that it comes over onto the right hand side in the edit screen and these are just some of the some of the little photos I've been taking in in black and white and here's some footage that you know you you've probably not seen yet this is us making tea at the, well we're here at the that's us making tea at the um MCC stand uh, when we were at the at the show so you know and then we can sort of scrub through these things like this and uh, you know we we get to choose where we start the the section and where we end it and then we can take some of that footage of whatever we choose and then just pop that into the timeline and then that's how we're editing a video these days so obviously the um, location is incorrect now you see you see here the footage in the background is um, pixelated and that is because and you see down here in the timeline uh, that you've got this sort of green and blue stripe across it and that's because that footage is currently downloading to the iPad over the Wi-Fi from the uh, Western Digital Drive so um, you see now it's really easy to get uh, you know without any problem so that footage is now downloaded and that will play quite happily in there um, that's Wendy just serving up the tea <laughs> um, yeah so um, and we can just choose any of the 
any of the uh, footage that we've got there and we can scroll back up to different uh, different sections go right back up to storage go back into my media and videos season three uh, raw footage which is where I, I do store some of that some of that raw footage in there and I can you know choose choose some of that this is from an older older thing that we've uh, spoken about our, our logbook and so on so you see it's now made it really really easy to edit those videos that are now stored safely on the Western Digital Wireless Pro Drive and it really is that easy and the trick um, the reason why it wasn't working before was really because of the um, if I can find it here this my cloud app um, I didn't have this loaded so unless you have the my cloud my passport app loaded it doesn't show up in luma fusion so you see all of this and i can you know um get all of my um various things that i'm working on uh there's some of the projects um some t-shirts and my my personal website and there's other things that we're that we're working on um things you know all the you know there's a little bit of music in there photos so my intention is to store all my photos on here um and then all the you know all the videos will will come into here so season three uh episode one this is the intro to season three episode two so i've always got them there and i think um over time bearing in mind that the uh wireless pro drive was uh, just short of 200 pounds and that i'm paying uh eight pounds a month for the two terabyte storage on iCloud that will probably come down to um, a couple of quid uh, when I downgrade so that will be uh, a much better thing so um, the four terabytes is you know it's probably worth two years worth of iCloud uh, storage so if I have to buy uh, an additional um, four terabytes every couple of years i think it'll be well worth uh the spend especially as it's really really handy it's battery powered you'll notice um it is running it's uh it has a sort of battery power readout on here uh so that's it's at 50 percent battery power this shows the drive is running and the Wi-Fi is on um, and you can also I mean you can power it that's the charging port um, and and you can connect it via that port as well to a laptop so you can connect it um, directly so that actually powers it as well and there's a USB slot and I think I'm not absolutely sure I think you can connect other USB drives to this or uh, USB thumb drives, um, memory sticks and so on, uh, which is a really handy thing. It also comes with a built-in uh, Plex media server. So you can load on to the Plex server um, media that you've downloaded from elsewhere whatever you've got if you've got a download service where you can download movies or tv shows or stuff like that you can pop it into the plex server here and then you can watch it on your ipad or your laptop or your phone by connecting to the plex server it really is a stunning uh, stunningly good device and the network service on it is really really fast it is so 
it was so much quicker than the other um, wired hard drives I had available to me here that didn't allow me to connect through LumaFusion directly to them because you know the 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 iPad it's brilliant with LumaFusion for editing for me there's no better way to edit your videos if you're a blogger or a vlogger um, than using LumaFusion on an iPad it's just simply no better way so simple to use um, so powerful um, but you can't connect the iPad to sort of file systems as such um, without some you know really techy solutions going on and difficult to do so having that Western Digital Drive is an ideal solution it really really set us up for the future um, of our video editing and the storage of all our footage now I know you know some people will be saying what about backup yeah what about backup I'm I'm untroubled at the moment about backup if the drive failed then yeah I might lose all of that information but it's not critical um, it's just there to have um, for the future and you know which you know it sort of begs the question well why why switch away from iCloud why not just start deleting stuff well it's because iCloud became unreliable and iCloud was using up my, my mobile broadband data and costing extra money so not only did it cost me eight quid a month it was costing me I don't know another 15 20 30 50 quid a month on buying extra broadband so I'm hoping that now we're keeping the network internal to the van and, and sharing data internally, not going over the internet, we'll be able to cut down our costs and cut down the amount of bandwidth or, or data that we use going over the internet. An excellent solution. So if you're, if you're wondering uh, about one of these, um, it does have the reason, <laughs> the reason I'm doing that all the time is because it has my uh, Wi-Fi network <laughs> password written on the front, so I, don't, I just don't want to display that to the world. Um, so I'm just I'm just holding that there. It just is a sticker that says uh, "Network um, My Passport," and it runs two uh, two networks: a 2.4 gigahertz network and a 5 gigahertz network. I've turned the 2.4 off and run the 5 gigahertz network because it is massively faster um, i think the 5 gigahertz runs at 10 times the speed of a 2 gigahertz don't quote me on that but I, that's what i think it does so it really does transfer files pretty quickly uh, across that wi-fi network internally so there you are that's how we edit videos and that's what we're doing with our data storage these days and getting over the problems with the Apple iCloud. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell icon so that you get reminders for whenever we upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye bye for now.